Hi everyone, it's Ileana. Not that long ago, I did a blog hop with reverse confetti and I had some of the stamps still left on my desk, so I kept creating using their products. I am using the Lift Me Up stamp set. I am stamping it onto a piece of cardstock and I am using the Jet Black ink from Lawn Fawn because I plan to do some Copic coloring. I did stamp a spare, just in case I mess up the first one, I have an extra one to color with. Now I am using similar colors that I used for my geometric background that I posted not that long ago. I really liked the color combination and so I just looked for colors that were similar to the paper or cardstock that I still had left on my desk. I've listed the colors in the upper left hand corner just for convenience so that you could just write them down if you want to or if not you can just use your own colors. So for the giraffe I am starting off with the lightest color and I'm just going to color the entire thing. I'm not too worried about the dots because I'm going to put a darker color over the spots I mean and so it doesn't really matter if you color over them. Next, I'm going with the medium shade, and I'm just going to add a shadow to where I would imagine it would be. I'm not too specific, I'm just having fun with my coloring. I like to flick the colors, it just makes it a lot easier for me to blend. I'm not really that great with Copic coloring, but I do enjoy using my markers. And so I learn little by little. Now I'm going to go to the opposite direction and I'm going to flick towards the darker just so that it blends a little bit better. Now for the spots, I'm going to start with a lighter color and then I'll go in and I'll add the darker and I will go back with the lighter again and then blend those two together because they are really far apart and so it makes it really easy to blend when you go back with the lighter color. And for the little details on the back of the neck of the giraffe, I'm just going to use one color. It's just such a tiny spot that I really don't need to do any kind of color blending. What I always seem to forget about Copic markers is that they do dry back just a little bit. So I have to be careful when I think something is not blending well, I just need to give it time to let it dry. Because as I'm looking at how I'm coloring the snout, it looks nothing like the way that it turned out on the front of the card. So you'll see in the end that it does dry back just a tiny bit. So just keep that in mind when you're coloring. Now I'm going back to the presents and I'm just adding a little bit of the same color. If you wait for the marker to dry and you add the color, it creates a shadow just by using the same color. Now for my favorite technique every time I do any kind of coloring is to go back with my super dark ink and this time I'm using Nocturne from Versifying Claire and I like to overstamp it and then I like to heat emboss it with some clear powder. It really makes the little critters just uh, pop. So now for my background I'm using the half tone circles from Alta Nu and I'm using Scuba to do the biggest dot. I plan to put my little giraffe right in front of that little dot. Now I'm going to pick a similar one in a smaller size. There's actually two different kinds of circles in the uh, halftone set. One that the shadow is in the middle and it kind of diffuses out and the other one where the shadow is on the bottom. So for my second color I am using Alta New Bamboo. I did make two of these cards, so you will see, you did just watch me make uh, two backgrounds. And now I'm using Raspberry Fizz for the smallest dot. I'm taking the sentiment from the same stamp set and it just says, it's your day, go wild. And I'm putting it in the uh, bamboo colored 
circle. I am checking to make sure that it is straight and so I'm just popping in a little piece of grid paper so that I can make sure that the sentiment is straight. And once I'm happy that it's straight, I'm just going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. I do add some clear embossing powder and emboss it just so that it matches the uh, critter, um, the giraffe on the front of the card. Now I'm taking the scrap pieces that I had on my desk from the geometric background and I'm using those to create my banners. So I have my mini blossom die cutter from Alta New on my desk and I really like it because it keeps me from having to get up and walk over to my big shot that's across the room. So I've cut three banners and I did have some stick it this time and so I am creating my little die cuts I really enjoy using this ticket because it makes it easy that you don't have to use liquid glue and you have a little bit of time where you could pull it apart if you need to before you press everything together. And so I've put my banners across the top of my card. I did trim some down and overlap some. Now I'm going to take my giraffe and my stack of presents and I'm going to run it through my die cutter. Sorry, I have this all out of order. I should have done this in the same order while I had my die cutter out, but I wasn't thinking. So I'm adding a little bit of shadow to the bottom of the card just to give the illusion that the giraffe is grounded. I did add some foam tape to the back of my giraffe and my presents and I'm just going to position them in just the right spot. And once all that is done, I'm going to add some jewels by Lucy Abrams. I'm using the lime, the shimmering pool, and the iridescent clear. And that's my card for today. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.